my friends, we are coming to a Yom Kippur that is unlike any other Yom Kippur we have ever experienced. Everything that we've ever studied, everything that we've ever learned, that we've toiled over, every Shabbos conversation that we've had at our table discussing a Devar Torah, this is the time for us to draw upon the strength. This is what it's all about. Today we find out who we really are. We find out how deep our emuna, our faith really goes, how great our neshama really is, because this is one of the greatest nisyonus, greatest challenges that we have ever faced. A Yom Kippur like this, a Rosh Hashanah like this, a Seres Yimei Tshuva like this is something that we have never experienced as a people. So what do we do? Where do we begin? What should we be thinking? On Rosh Hashanah, before we blow the shofar, we say, Baruch Atah Hashem Lishmoa Kol Shofar, to hear the sound of the shofar. Because there are times in life where our position, our test, our challenge, our mission is to hear, to listen. Sometimes it's very difficult to hear what is really going on. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is speaking to us, to every single one of us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is banging on our door. But do we hear? Do we listen? What is happening in the world right now? On Yom Kippur, we tell the story of Yona. Yona thought that he could run away and escape his mission in this world. He boarded a boat to go to Tarshish. And then came this huge storm. The boat is being tossed through the waves. The storm is going to break the boat. This boat is like a little toy, a little toy in a bathtub. It's going up, it's going down, it's about to shatter. Everyone on the boat is terrified. The sailors start to scream out to their gods. No avail, nothing helps them. They start throwing things overboard chairs, dressers, beds. Maybe this is going to help. Nothing. Nothing's helping. The boat is being tossed and turned. It's about to shatter. Everyone's about to lose their life. So the captain, he's looking for Yona. There's one person missing. Where is he? And he finds Yona sleeping. Malacha Nirdam, he says to Yona, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How could you be sleeping right now? What are you thinking? The world around you is exploding and you're sleeping? This question, Malachanirdam, becomes the question that you and I must ask ourselves today before we enter Yom Kippur. Malachanirdam, how could you be sleeping? The world is in chaos. The world is in confusion, restricted. Nobody knows what will be. There's a pandemic that started as this little germ that traveled through, throughout the world and has brought the entire world to its knees. Nothing is for sure. Ein od milvado. Only that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that Hashem is melech. And Hashem is the one who is in charge. So on this Aseris Yimei Tshuva, as we approach Yom Kippur, we have to ask ourselves, Malacha Nirdam, is it possible? Is it possible that I'm walking through life as if I am sleepwalking? Am I the same person today that I was yesterday, that I was six months ago, that I was a year ago? Everybody knows what it is that we must work on. Everybody knows what it is that we must do better. For some, it's Lashon Hara, not to talk about other people, not to judge other people, not to look at other people in a bad light. And especially as we come to Yom Kippur, Chas v'shalom, God forbid, to judge another, because Hashem is our shadow, Hashem Tzilcha. And if we judge another, 
then chas v'shalom, Hashem judges us. So we must see everybody in a good light. We must have achtas, to be together as one. On Yom Kippur, we call out to Hashem and we speak about the mistakes that we've made. Ashamnu, bagadnu, gazalnu, Hashem. We've made so many mistakes. We've desecrated. We haven't been grateful for all the gifts that you've given us. We've robbed, we've hurt people, we've shamed people. But why do we say it in Lashon Rabim, as if everybody's doing it together? Should this be something private? And the answer is that as we approach Yom Kippur, we must look at ourselves as one nation. We are all responsible for each other. So if I hurt somebody, if I am not kind to somebody, if I don't make my brachas properly, if there's somebody whose child is away and we're waiting for that child to come home, if there's somebody who's hurting inside, who's going through pain, it's not somebody else. We all must feel each other's pain. We all must feel each other's anguish, each other's tsar. When somebody isn't well, when somebody is suffering, we all have to feel that. Ashamnu, Bagadnu, Gazanu, Hashem, look, we're all together. We're your children. We're one nation. This is the key to Geula. This is the key to Teshuva, to be responsible one for the other, to feel for each other, to feel empathy for each other. If somebody's going through something, to know that. They're not going through it alone. We all go through this together. We have pain together that we can't be in shul the way that we'd like to be, that yeshivas are closing. It hurts all of us when one child cannot learn in a yeshiva. That hurts all of us, all of Klal Yisrael. So as we approach Yom Kippur, the first thought that we must have is, how can I do better, Hashem? We're just human beings. We make mistakes. But underneath it all, there is a neshama, there is a soul. Elokai neshama shenasatabi tahorihi. Hashem, the neshama that you've given me, it's so pure. We just want to come back to you. We feel each other's pain. We're one people, Hashem. If there's anything that we've learned throughout this entire pandemic, it is that we are one. We feel each other's pain. We feel each other's pain. So the captain of the ship looks at Yonah. He says, Malacha Nirdam, how could you be sleeping? How could you go through this and not feel that you have to wake up, that you have to make a difference? There's something you have to do. Come, he said, get up. Get up and call out to your God. You have to daven. Jewish people pray. This is our koach. Am Yisrael, it's time for tefillah now. It's time to look within and to ask Hashem with all our hearts to say, Hashem, the Shmoa Kol Shofar, we get the sound of the shofar, the piercing cry of the shofar, that's speaking, that's calling out to all of us, Uru Yeshenim Mishanaschem. Wake up, wake up. Don't be the same person that you were yesterday. Don't be the same person that you were three months ago, six months ago. How can I do better? We all know where we must try and strive to climb, to connect to Shemayim. And if somebody says to themselves, it's impossible, it's impossible. You don't know what I've done. You don't know where I've been. You don't know what I've said. So what do we say to that, that person, that neshama? When HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the luchos, the Torah describes that the luchos were heavy, that the luchos were made of stone, and the letters of the luchos were inscribed, suspended in midair. It's impossible, but it's possible. It's impossible, but at the same time, it's possible. The Torah is telling us that just as the luchos 
were carried by Moshe Rabbeinu. And when you looked at the Luchos, you thought, wow, this is impossible. How can this be? But it was possible because this is how HaKadosh Baruch Hu sees Am Yisrael, sees each and every one of us. According to nature, when you make a mistake, when you do something wrong, it's impossible to fix it. A paper is torn, is shredded, something beautiful is stained, you can't restore it. But that's nature. We are Am Yisrael. The impossible is possible. Just as the Luchos were suspended beyond belief, this was allowed to happen so that we can understand. The Luchos were made in such a way to give us hope for ourselves. There is nothing that is impossible for Am Yisrael. We have traveled through the four corners of this world. We have gone through inquisition, crusade, persecution, gas chambers, anti-Semitism, suicide attacks, and now a pandemic. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu is calling out to us, never give up, never give up on yourself, never give up on Am Yisrael, never give up on HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem is waiting to hear from us. So if each of us choose just one mitzvah, one mitzvah where we try to come closer to Hashem, one mitzvah where we try to ask ourselves, how can this world be better? Because I am here. Whose life can I touch? How can I make this world into a better place? What is my legacy in this world? Do you know how I know what my legacy is? When somebody thinks of you, when somebody hears your name, do you bring a smile to, the, your, to their lips? Do you bring a gleam, glitter to their eyes? Do you bring joy to their hearts? Do you bring magic to this world? We are going through difficult times now, it's true. But it is impossible, but possible. Because we are Am Yisrael. We are the children of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. When my Zaydi, when my Zaydi, my grandfather, came out of Bergen-Belsen, every single person that he met, he asked only one question. Did you see my father? Did you see my mother? Did you see my sisters, my brothers, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles? And everybody had the same response. No, we didn't see them. We didn't see them. Until finally, my Zaydi met one person and his response was different. I saw your father. I saw your mother. I saw the Rav. I saw the Rebbitzin, your parents. I saw them online, getting online in Auschwitz, walking into the gas chambers, holding their youngest babies, their youngest grandchildren in their arms with the Shema Yisrael on their lips. You are the last survivor of your mishpacha, of your family. There's nobody else left. My Zaydi gave out an anguished cry and he said, Ibona Shalolam, master of this world, I have only one request of you, that all of my children and all of my grandchildren and all the children of Klal Yisrael remain loyal to you, study Torah all the rest of their lives and never lose their emuna. And so as we enter this Yom Kippur, this is my tefillah, this is your tefillah, this is our tefillah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. No matter what we are going through, no matter how difficult this test is, no matter how life has gone beyond anything that we've ever imagined, we have just this one request. Help us, Hashem. Give us your slicha. Give us your mechila. Help us raise the next generation of Klal Yisrael. Help us raise ourselves 
so that we can connect to you and we can finally hear the shofar of Mashiach, a good Gebenstiar, Shana Tova Umesukah.